deserted streets and empty cafes. Far from the usual tourist bustle of Turkey's cultural capital Istanbul. In 2015, 12 million people visited the city. But since the attack of January the 12th, which left 10 German tourists dead, there's not much holiday spirit or many holiday makers left. Probably try and avoid large crowds, um, but we, we, we're flying out tomorrow. We've been here for two weeks, so we thought, well, we'll stick it out and we'll just be a little bit careful about where we go. Turkey's tourism was already suffering, following bombings in Ankara in October, which killed more than 100 people, mostly pro-Kurdish activists. But this latest attack, blamed on the Islamic State group, clearly targeted the tourism sector. Our boss was meant to get two travel groups, but one has suspended their reservation and the other cancelled. After what's happened, our business is going to suffer. Of a record 36 million tourists who visited in 2014, the biggest group were Germans, followed by Russians. But now Germany's foreign ministry is warning Germans to avoid tourist attractions in the city. Meanwhile, Russia, angered over Turkey's shooting down of a Russian jet on the Syrian border in November, is advising its citizens against all travel here. If there's one industry that Turkey cannot do without, it's tourism, because it's part of the country's DNA, its nature, its rich culture, its rich history of three empires. Tourism and Turkey are one. The world cannot do without Turkey or without Istanbul. We'll try to deliver the best service to our guests. If there's no tourism in Turkey, there's no Turkey. The government had hoped to reach a target of 50 million tourists a year by 2023. But with early reports suggesting a drop in profits last year, it's a goal they may have to reconsider.